Hello and welcome. 70 years ago, Japan surrendered at the end of World War II, and hostilities ended at one of the most deadly conflicts in human history. The country has marked that anniversary with a special service, attended by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and Emperor Akihito, where a minute's silence was observed. Emperor Akihito, who led the memorial service, said that he felt profound remorse over World War II and also acknowledged the debt his nation owes to those who paid the ultimate price. I sincerely mourn the war dead. French police issue images of two men suspected to be involved in the killing of 12 people at the offices of a satirical magazine. There was a shootout on the streets of Paris. As they fled, the gunmen shouted, God is greatest in Arabic. French security forces are continuing a huge search operation for the two gunmen suspected of carrying out the deadly attack on the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Twelve people were killed when the gunmen attacked the offices in central Paris on Wednesday. The two suspects have been named as Sharif and Saeed Kawachi, two brothers who were born in France of Algerian descent. They were spotted at a petrol station some 80 kilometers from Paris at Villers Cotteret. Armed police have also been searching in a forest northeast of the capital. Our correspondent Damien Grammaticus has the latest on the hunt for the suspects. Well, let's speak to Corey Saylor, who's in Washington, and he's from the Council on American-Islamic Relations. Mr. Taylor, thank you so much for joining us. Um, thank you Muslim for leaders me. today have condemned this attack in the strongest possible terms. But what more do you think can be done or done differently? I think we have to remember that this is a long struggle that we're in. And stay with us on BBC News still to come. The power of the pen. Thousands gather in the centre of London to pay their respects to the journalists killed in Paris. First, let's round up how the attack on Charlie Hebdo is making headlines around the world. French newspaper Le Figaro calls it murdered freedom and changes its masthead colour to black in commemoration of the 12 killed. It also features this cartoon in its magazine's front page with the title Blood Inc. An assault on democracy is the headline in The Guardian. Pictured here is one of many protests that took place across France, condemning the massacre. The words Je suis Charlie or I am Charlie has become a popular slogan of solidarity. A columnist adds that for France and the outside world, the dreadful violence can only be seen as an attack on independent journalism. Gulf News reports in the United Arab Emirates, strongly condemning what it called the heinous attack in Paris. Impeachment hearings have begun in Thailand against the former Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat, who was ousted in a coup last year. The hearing is seen as the year's first big challenge for the military junta. Well, Jonathan Head is in Bangkok for us, and he joins us outside the parliament. So, Jonathan, just remind us of the background to this, because this all centers around this controversial rice subsidy scheme. It was one of the most celebrated policies of the last government and very controversial. It was very popular with rice farmers who make up a bedrock of support for the old government, for Miss Yingluck's party. But it was very expensive. It was allegedly unsustainable and full of corruption. The president of Sri Lanka, Mahinda Rajapaksa, has admitted defeat to his rival, the former government minister, Matripala Siri Sena, in Thursday's election. President Rajapaksa has been seeking a third term after a decade in office. Well, we can go live now to the BBC's Yogita Lamai, who's in the capital, Colombo. Yogita, what's your reaction to this? Because just a few weeks ago, this result was unthinkable, wasn't it? That's right. In the city of Colombo, we've already seen some people come out and set out fireworks. Well, what's been significant in the wake of the attacks is the online reaction, with many going to Twitter and other sites to declare, Je suis Charlie, I am Charlie. And many cartoonists have been using that slogan in drawings they've done in commemoration. We'll leave you with just a few.